Hello boys and welcome back to the Grouse Podcast. We're finally here with our first live audience and AR photographer. Allegedly. Yes, Classy. So oh, yeah. Give us a clap everyone. Woo! Clap. Jeez, yeah, I'm good. It's good to be back. Um, I've had a big, big stint off. Um, I don't know when the last time was, probably... I think now it would be... Uh... We're just little boys. There was lots of there was lot, lots of empty promises leading up to this. Yeah. Uh, little boys in a big world. Yeah, and uh, I feel like I've grown a bit. I feel yep. like I'm ready to start again. So <clears throat> to start off, you know, we're 18 now. Yeah. Able yep. to drink. Had my first drink uh, September the 13th, and it was a, it was a tasty bitter. Um. <laughs> but what I find now is, you know, I find myself going through the same thing each and every weekend. And you can. Um, it starts off on Monday and you say, yeah, mate, so yeah, look, I'm not going out. And then you get to Wednesday and you start to think, you know what, maybe I might go out. And then you find on Thursday at around probably 6 a.m. because I'm working the long shifts, so I start yeah. early. And I yeah. just start thinking, what if I do go out? Yeah. What if I do go out tonight? Yeah. yeah. Now you find yourself on a Thursday, you get you go around the mate's place and you flick it on the footy. You probably have two beers and a pizza. And then it's like, a pepperoni. And then you find yourself, someone always pops up and goes, why don't we go out? It's a Thursday, fucking cheap drinks, why don't we go out? And it's a, it's a problem that I find myself in a lot of the time. Because <clears throat> it's terrible. Now what you realise is that when you start on a Thursday, you still got Friday, Saturday, and what yeah. I find usually like two times out of ten, I'm probably actually nine times out of ten, I'm going out on a Sunday yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you, find, if you do find yourself waking up on a Sunday morning, Thing and like maybe and the, you're just so high on the boys from the night before you want to go again let's do it again and yeah. I don't know if it's my group of mates I've got some good ones out there but yeah maybe it's just the way of life yeah maybe. Um, but yeah boys just thought I'd drop that that on you for a bit of a just to just to run that through your heads see where you guys are at but uh, this, this time around we're going to try and get the boys more involved try and get more of you on here get some people actually having a say in the podcast and what we get up to. Um, yeah. So, Glass, what do you got uh, for us today? We've got a bit of a ITM, <coughs> but we don't know. Yeah, not either. really. We've got a few little things down here, but not nothing really that we need to stick to. I just wanted to say firstly that I had a bit of training last night, a bit of rugby training. I was training with oh, like Colts ones. And um, yeah. I pulled up so sore. How about? Yeah. I feel like it's the thing when you get back into uh, the mids of footy, you think, you know, yeah, it's going to be the same as playing thirds once yeah. again. And I played two years at thirds. Yeah. One year at uh, 10 for a game, I'll put that yeah. out there, just so people get that and 12 for the other half of the season. Yeah, yeah. And um, and then the year after, I moved back to my rifle position, yeah. the flanker. And this year I found myself back at uh, 15, 13 and fullback. Yep. And I've only played two games and I've played all those positions. <laughs> 15, 13 and fullback. That does not, that does not sound right, does it? It is well done. But I find sometimes you, so you, you lose the miles on the legs, but <clears> me, <throat> me, I never lose the skills. I've always got them. The, thing, the, is, the thing is, I never had the skills originally. Yeah. I've never and I'll take, I'll take you back to where we decided to play footy in the first place. And I said, if one of us get dropped, we all get dropped. And lots of the boys are saying, oh, or, or somehow work myself into a decent side. Yeah. Um, and what I've said to the boys is, I'm not one of those players that has to ask to get get dropped, sort of thing. I just get dropped. Yeah. You, will, you after yeah. a while, you'll just find me in that lower team. You are that omission, that and, late omission. Yeah. Hey. And and what also you will find Nick, is, I'll start off, you know, get dropped down the coach, and that bottom team will think like, yeah, it's all this and that. Yeah. And then you'll find me in a team under that <laughs> yeah. all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah. And, it, and it's just, you're just spiralling down. Yeah. And that's how my life's going as well. Yeah. I've realised. Yeah, it will. But that is life. You that know, is life. You're living your journey. Um, yeah. I haven't learned a lot recently. No. What about you, Nick? Going to university, how is it? It's not too bad, actually. Me and, um, me and Jack Haynes, one of the audience members, um, we're doing um, international business and... Major we, in- Ma- majoring in internationalism. Oh, yeah. Thought CEO. No, yeah. Well, CEO. We sort of work our way up there. Probably in three years, we'll find ourselves probably based in Hong Kong. Probably. Fair yeah. That's all I need to say, really. Mm. But no, you find it's it's alright. Like we find ourselves just strolling around. Good. We get a boost. We do get a boost every now and then. 
any comments in the verse line? No, so what what we do, right? We'll get I'm normally a mango tango or I've gone for like a lychee ones recently. But I think a couple of weeks maybe last week, me and Hansie were walking through the campus with a mango tango. I've got it in the left hand. And we've passed a couple of people coming they're on coming, right? Like yeah. not they're not blokes. But and we've seen them like I've just gone. Wait, when you say not blokes, are you talking about girls? girls. Oh yeah, not, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant yeah, other. Not yeah, girls. They're walking towards us, like, yeah, I've made all kind of, I give them the down head, not the up head, not the down one, because you know what that means. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, yeah. No, we see them. I see them, and I go, yep, yeah, what's going on? And then they go, a couple of boots. And, oh, mate. <laughs> Where's oh. your head at? Oh. And, and then they started, they kept walking, they just pissing themselves, like, it's not if funny, that's sense of, If that's your sense of humour, you're fucking doing life wrong. I think, yeah. Seriously, like, ugh. And then me and Hainsey, like, I'm like the Hainsey, like, they're pretending like they don't like a boost. Like, I've never met one person that doesn't like a boost. I'm just thinking. Do you like a boost? Yeah, I do. I'm just trying to think right now. Yeah. I've got no one. I've got no one. Off the yeah. top of their head, that is. I had a big thing then. You don't. I went through both sides of the family and all my mates, close and far. <laughs> I got there we go. Um, so just moving on from that, that was obviously quite traumatic for me and my mate. It wasn't nice. And if I'm still talking about it now, it obviously had a pretty big impact on me at the time. Yeah, it seems like it stuck. It did, yeah. But um, yeah, one of the next things, sometimes I do find myself at Macca's a lot. Yeah. At McDonald's. Oh, what you got? Speaking of Macca's, so this is what, what this is where what it really comes down is my usual would be, you know, one bacon and egg <clears throat> McMuffin. Yep. Sausage and egg McMuffin. Yeah. And I would get that at all times of the day because yeah. they used to do the all-day brekkie. And you see, if you've seen the Adam Sandler movie, um, Big yeah. Daddy, yeah. and then they moved. <laughs> <laughs> That's the main name of the movie. Yeah. No, uh, <laughs> but what you find is he it's the first time he's woken up since you know 12 like before 12 o'clock so he went to yeah. go get the um the brekkie because they used to stop yeah. at 12 o'clock yeah and then he, he gets to the front of the line apparently it's moved down to ten thirty. he's like horse shit yeah and gets angry and i found i had a similar experience i'll take you back to probably last year um just just a young kid um ready for life and yeah. so i've rolled rolled in to Macca's at about 3.30 in the morning yeah. um, and I didn't have work that morning that was after a big night like I'm not saying I was getting to work early I'm saying like this yeah. is this yeah, is yeah, after yeah. a monster of an evening yeah. and I found myself being used to the usual uh, all day brekkie because yeah. they brought it back yeah. for a bit yeah. and I've tried to order a Big Mac uh, not Big Mac a bloody McMuffin sausage and egg and McMuffin yeah. and bacon and egg yeah. And what's happened is, is they've told me at three o'clock in the morning, and I'm reasonably, you know, so yeah. um, that they said we don't do all day brekkie anymore. What do you reckon about that one? Well, it was a fucking disgrace, straight off the top of the head. Yeah, like, you, can't, you, yeah. you can't pull something away that you advertise so hard and not advertise that it's going away. Yeah, and I see why they didn't advertise it was going away because lots of people would have thought you know all day brekkie is probably the best thing that's happened to them. Yeah. And it was for a bit. Yeah. It was the best thing. I've just come off thirty days, thirty deals. Yeah, well, I was yeah, pretty much yeah, pissing yeah. myself. Like I'm yeah. pretty much eating for free. The meals <laughs> tasted better. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's back to you know you're not getting your McMuffin at twelve o'clock at night if you want. And while we're on the topic of McDonald's, me and Hainsey over there, um, we actually thought we were, we were down there. I think it was after uni or something. But after a big stint at uni. And we're in a car park, and I'm doing my order online, so obviously now on the app you can earn the points and you get some free shit. So I'm, I'm like the hands like, why don't we get a fill of fish and give it a go? And like, we put one on the order, put two on the order, we've got back to the place, I've opened it, and I'm like, fuck, what is this? I had a bit of a dig of it, oh, fuck, it's terrible. <laughs> like, some people do think that it's like, not too bad. Like, I remember, yeah, one of the housemates, not gonna mention him, he goes, yeah, no, don't hate it, don't love it, but no, I fucking hate it. <laughs> yeah. Not, not. It's, a, it's a fair enough comment. It's a no from me. Like, if you don't like something, what's the point in 
yeah. hiding that you like. It I just want to know who's catching. Else. I just want to know who's catching that fish. Yeah, that is the who's the fisherman responsible. Yeah, and I feel like that's a one way ticket to get a lifetime ban. Um, <laughs> Maybe yeah. Who knows? So look, pet peeves, Nick. Let's speak about them. Let's go through them. I've got a couple. I've got get them off your chest few. while you can. I'll I do have a fair few, but I'm not going to go into all of them because I'll just say a few. I'll let him brew it <coughs> so I'm a bit more passionate about him. That's all right. But um, one recently, like, because um, our sort of age group likes going to the Linglings. Love it. Yeah, good. I'll be yeah. for it. It's, it's a nice spot on a Saturday. And obviously, our group of friends, we like getting the fish bowls, like the big, the big fish bowl. And then nothing worse than having a little parrot over your shoulder trying to get a little suck of your, of your fish bowl. I can't think of anything worse. No, it's fucked. But when I buy a fish bowl, I, like, I probably bought... I don't even know if I've ever bought a fish bowl to share with someone. Yeah. I think I've actually... No, just they're not cheap, so like... If you're spending $45 for a bloody bowl, bowl of yeah. alcohol, like, I, I expect... And half of it's ice as well. Yeah. And so like, how, what are they value, like, value, valuating the ice at yeah. is the big question because fuck it must be high yeah it's not like it's ex- it's an expensive drink it's like yeah. it's not it's not like you got a carton of gold and your mate's like oh, I can have a gold you're like fucking oath mate take them off my hands <laughs> get them away from but me fish, uh, fish bowls they're really really expensive and like when you get a little parrot over your shoulder wanting a suck you just like fuck off mate you know do you have any uh the, Any pet peeves from you, mate? Um, I've, got, I've got another one coming up too. I don't know. Pet peeves, I'm a pretty easy going bloke these days. But I don't have a lot going. I don't love um, having a go for me. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll go to the next one then, eh? Yeah, yeah. Good one. We've got a couple of mates responsible for this. What? My question is what's going on back there? You know what my pet peeve is? When you... <laughs> like, in all honesty... Like, You're right, mate. Is that a pit? Right, I've gone out of my way there. It's you right, speak on the right, right. On to my next one. one. Oh, just a quick sponsor. Oh, quick sponsor, Loud and Proud Beers. Um, it's a pale ale, but it's also a one love pale ale. <laughs> so that's the way to go. It's got the rainbow flag there for you know, our followers out there that are into that stuff. Personally, <laughs> yeah. haven't tested it out yet, but you know, I'm open to ideas. Yeah. So on to the next one. This is pretty bad within, especially 18 year olds. Drop them in the comments. Mm. People, people that are always sniffing out a free Uber. Like, so when you go into the valley, right, from, a, from like pre's, everyone will order one or two, and there's always that bloke that just stays quiet and then just tries to sneak into the fucking Uber. Tom Maxa. Guilty. Yeah, and you. Yeah. <coughs> Fuck, it's I don't have money to throw around, though, and that's a thing that we also got to accept as an 18 year old. Like, if you, you like, on average, how much money is the average eighteen year old making in Australia? In Brisbane, let's say. Let's let's narrow it down. I reckon anywhere from five hundred to seven hundred dollars a week. Yeah. And if you're like us, you go on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, some will take two days off in the middle, but you know, you're spending two hundred and thirty dollars a night. Yeah, that's yeah. If you're buying And it's really ramped well. up from when you're first eighteen. First yeah. 18, you go on a birdies. And you're spending 50 bucks. Yeah, you're spending like 80 bucks and you're, you're off your face. Yeah. But then now... A lot's changed very quickly. Yeah. Now, like, if you want to have an absolute ripper, you're spending like upwards of 250. The way I look is last year, I was never going out on a Thursday night. No. Because we were at school still. Yeah, but I was never going out on a Thursday no, night. No, no, you weren't. But now I find, like, every Thursday... I just seem to be like coming over, saying hi to the boys, kicking around the footy for yeah. for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Come home, watch the footy for about what twenty yeah. minutes, and then someone goes like, "Oi, yeah. do you want to go do some damage?" And I'm like, yeah. uh, "Not really, but yeah. let's go for it." And then yeah. I find myself out to some ridiculous hour. Does it shit me? Not really. Come Monday, it's a bit like, well. Not the right option, but next Thursday I'm doing it again, and that's what I, I just I found myself yeah. in this rotation. No, you do find yourself in that. It's like Groundhog Day, really. What? It's like Groundhog Day. No, You're not familiar it. with that one. <laughs> nah, explain the terms. No, it just it just happens over and over. Yeah, yeah. And I'm big time. I love it. Be like um. I don't know. You're going on the <laughs> no, I was going to hang over the thing. Yeah, it's just, it's just, just stupid. Yeah. yeah. No, I've got a question for you though. Mm-hmm. 
What do you reckon about kissing your mates on the lips when you know. when you're out? Depends. Depends how much you kiss them. Yeah. Because yeah, you got. I know there's a few a few of our mates that are serial offenders of getting real getting real in there. Yeah. Not just a peck, but like. Well, like, I'm talking. Like, I've seen. I've I've had tongues down his throat. Um. Yeah. You from have. both both. Um, all genders, not both. It's more than one. <laughs> more than two. Yeah, we're proud. Yeah, we're proud. Yeah. Um, but you know, I've had, I've had, I've had tongues down my throat and all, all, you know, encounters. Yeah. Um, would I say it's okay when a bloke does it to me? It's a bit like, well, this is new. Yeah. But do, <laughs> do I want to test it out right now? No. <laughs> Maybe in the future. Though. Maybe not in the future as well. That's where I'm at with that. But who knows, you know? No, there's nothing wrong with it, though. Yeah, there isn't. But I've seen blokes who are, like, both kind of going for it. Yeah. And it's I've a bit like... It well, I've seen a bit very bad video. If two mates very close to me. You would hate to see it. I would hate to see it, actually, yeah. And it's a bit like... I get the joke. I get where it's coming from. Yeah. That's a bit far, eh, boys? No, I don't mind it. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I reckon it's all clear that one. Um, yeah. Should we get on to a bit of footy? Get on to a bit yeah. of footy. What are we? What footy are we talking? What code? Um, do you want to talk about the A League? <laughs> yeah, I have got a few. A few going from the A League. I don't think I know a single team except the Brizzy Roar in that division. Uh, okay. Melbourne Victory. Oh, uh, Perth Glory. <coughs> Perth Glory. Yeah. They had a great team. Didn't they have Usain Bolt playing for them? Mm, no, it was Melbourne Victory. Melbourne Victory. Yeah, right. Good side. Quick right out, kid. Good pace. What no, footy are we talking? I was thinking we just. Talk about some cults, culture. Cult, cult, culture. Yeah, we haven't really experienced it yet. No, we haven't. We've got a big game uh, tomorrow against UQ. Yeah, should be a good one. Time to fire up. It's time to end some wars. Yeah, I don't even. I don't know. We don't know enough about the no the senior grade footy yet. No, but I just love getting down there with a few boys and yeah. Probably putting forty minutes early and putting a few talks up. Yeah, that's my favourite part about I like footy training at the moment. I've been placed in the back this season. I'll get down there. I feel like I need to do kicking practice. I can't kick to save my life, but I'll do it. We know that. We know that. We do. And also, we've started up a bit of a TikTok account. Mm. Um, we're going to be. We're just, we're just going to be shit posting. Yeah, right we're going to try and start shit posting a lot more. Yeah. You know, turn this into a uh, a cult. No, I'm just, no yeah. not really a cult, but just don't get. Yeah. It. We want boys sharing stuff. We want them yeah. sending it to your mates. Get yeah, all your yeah, mates yeah. involved. Get your mates down. Get really <laughs> into it, fellas. Because, you know, you never know where this kid end up. We're trying to get no, him we, big and you, stuff. Yeah. I reckon, because we'll hope maybe in six months we'll be top on top on Spotify. Yeah. We just need to sign this Spotify deal. Yeah. We already signed an alcohol deal with Famous Grouse Whiskey. Yeah, that's a big one. We own that shit. Yeah. And also, we're we looking to get a, like a guest on maybe each week. Yeah, for, and just for thinking, just for a short stint, not for the whole time. But like, if we do have a big time player, like I'm throwing this out there, Noah Callow, yeah, Nozzle Trap like Star, that. we're in comedy. Yeah, um, people like that. We'd we love we want to get him on for a full bloody go. And yeah. I know, I know this isn't going to be the best one you guys have seen because we we've had a while off. We're just getting back into the swing of it. We just need it and every Friday you will find us two sitting at the same table with the same poster behind us and Steve over here just living it up big time. Yeah. Mm. Um and you know eventually there'll be a few more things we're trying to get a couple of sponsors um looking at Nike. I'm um, thinking to start up a fitness club <laughs> for the podcast too. Yeah. So if you want to go for a job with us, we can do a we, we can do a bit of a weekly run club down at the mm. park, in our Oriel Park or something. And it's just it's just one there. lap from the start of the train to the end of the train. Yeah. And then we all migrate. Yeah, and now we'll bring maybe bring footy down. We can do a few two on ones or something. Yeah. Old mine up. Man, you guys are wrong. Mm. Yeah. And it, it, you know, if you got a little brother and he wants to learn how to play touch footy like a elite footy player, you look, have a look at my bio. I played one game of TRL last season. Scored two tries. And mum was disallowed for running out. Yeah. But I still put the ball down in the end goal, you know? That's what professional players do. Yeah. Well, that's that. What do we got? Quote of the week, Nick. What do you reckon? Have you heard anything funny? I haven't heard anything. So, boys, this is like the quote of the week. We're going to bring a couple of things in. It says a pet peeve. Send it through on the DMs. Yeah. Because I want to he- hear them. Yeah. Um, we're going to go for an MVP each week. If one of your mates had a great performance. And that's the thing with LVP. Least value player, most valuable player. Someone can pretty much obtain both at once. So, let's say Johnny 
gets, you know, Johnny Wilkinson. All the boys are like, oh my God, he's going to do it, he's going to do it. And then he does it. Yeah. But then it's like, he's done it, but who's he done it with? What's he doing? What's he doing though? No, no we want to hear the backstory. We want to hear the build up. <laughs> What's, Even videos. No, no, but this, no, this is how LVP and MVP, you can win both at once. Oh, right, right. Which is just MVP. Because if it's so bad, it can be most great. player. It can be so. Yeah, good. it can so be so. It good. can be so. No, it can be so good, nah, good that it's. And then you start looking at what happened, and then you're like, maybe we're not. Like, yeah, it was funny at the time, but that's actually something disgusting. Yeah, that's like yeah. Like yeah, no, that's good. And I feel like there's lots of players out there, lots of soldiers have cop that, you know, LVP yeah. and MVP. And then Definitely. lots of the boys just cop LVP for just being dickheads. I'm looking at Nick Ryan, George Polar. Yeah. You know, Leonard yeah, can George Polar wears his, his like. green button up all the time. Mm. Just looks shit. Like, you think when you're going, you think when you're going to a, a, you know, a pub or somewhere and you're under 18, you're not going to wear cream shorts, RM boots, and a green polo. And a green polo. Because you stick out like an idiot. Yeah. Like, you look like a clown when you walk in. <laughs> And then you show an ID, and then you like don't know the name on it. It's a bit like, yeah, man, I reckon I reckon you've had enough. Yeah, no. And I'm keeping your ID while you're at it. Yeah, bring back the good old days. I say, I miss being underage more than like I don't think I'll miss this time in my life when I get older. But I reckon I'll miss the time just before I was about to turn eighteen. A couple of yeah. the boys have you sneaking in places. Yeah, you just got that that little bit of um ticker in you, just to yeah. be better. Yeah. I thought we could also touch on a bit of schoolies. A bit of schoolies, actually. Because we've been away for a while. We and are, we, and we, we did we, promise big We promised time. one out at schoolies, but we just got occupied with a few different things. Lots um, of different things. But some of the stuff that went on at schoolies, it was just fucking disgusting. It feels illegal. It was actually disgraceful. Being in that place. I'm going to go back this year. It, yeah, I'm going to go back. Yeah. 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 It's probably, it was us. like, we're, we're going to try and go back and be, you know, like the people that you get photos with, but yeah. then also maybe, end up back at Europe. Maybe like that green, you see that green head, like, what's his name? Um, green anyone head. out there? That, you know, bread like, gang. That, that, yeah, bread gang. Bread we'll, yeah, we'll just walk yeah, around. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just do that shit. But we're not going to give you a thousand bucks if you're able to throw a bloody ping pong ball oh, to a cup. I'll give you a goal or something. Yeah, <laughs> I'll give you a t- pat on the back. And then, Hello. Yeah, I'll give you a free grouse shirt. How about that? We're going to bring them back. A couple of different colours. Yeah. Um, had some dickhead the other week, Hunter Lynn. He was like, wait, maybe you should try and get a fitted shirt that actually looks good. And I'm like, mate, the shirts at the moment, they look fucking grouse. Yeah, they are good shirts. Yeah. Um, they shrink in the wash though, so don't wash them. <laughs> yeah. No, don't wash them. The, if you don't wash them, they look better. And to the person who's complaining about me giving them a pre- pre-worn one just fucking have a break like <laughs> you, I'm sorry that I yeah. wore it a couple of times but yeah. if you really wanted it that bad I shouldn't have like you were sending me 12 DMs a day like yeah jokes on you we wore all of them <laughs> <laughs> so you get we used put to the all of them on at once <laughs> look like Nick Graham it's the soul um what else do we, should we call up Baz and get a tip of the week cause I'm feeling yeah. I feel like it's already going to be a rough podcast, this. And, you know, we'll deliver it better, but we just haven't... We haven't put much... We put these microphones into it, and here's a bit of a, like, you know, honest honesty, straight through the teeth. They're not even plugged into the computer. And we brought the whole everything, but we needed one more thing. We're getting a camera and a tripod and whatnot. We're yeah. setting it up for you fellas, because we know you love us. We're getting the personal but, assistant. Yeah. Sits under the table. And... We haven't put any TikToks out, but I'll probably film a couple of crazy call ones. Call them up. We're going to call Basil up now. Yeah, we're going to call Basil up and get yeah. a tip of the week. <coughs> I was going to, like, the original plan was to hold the phone there, but they don't work. So. Here we go. That happens. Wish I didn't have another one. Here we go. Hopefully he's not um, doing anything. Yeah, he's missed those 18 last night, so he probably had a big one. <laughs> Huge. I don't know. If you guys can't hear this, like, don't put in the comments. Can't hear fan If anyone yeah, wishes this year, we don't care. Yeah, got better things to do on my Friday night. He's not gonna answer. That's gonna be a shocker. That's a mood killer. Probably this would be good. Oh, Baz. Yeah. You're live. Yeah. I didn't ask. Yeah, we don't care. Bro, I just said it. you're live on the podcast, bro. Yeah. Put the phone up there, Yeah. We need... Oh. Just rest it up on the table. 
speak now, Nick. Yeah, mate, it is live on the podcast now, Basil. G'day, Glassy, how are you? Good, thanks, mate. Um, Baz, so we're bringing you on each week for the tip of the week. What are we looking at for this week? Um, yeah, write this down, actually. yeah, I'll... Um... No, don't send it, just say it, you're live. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. I'm going to go in the, in the Queen Elizabeth Stakes. Yep. Yep. Um, obviously, you've got J Mac choosing from the three champions in yep. Zaki, Animo, and Very Elegant. Very yeah, elegant. What do you reckon on Very Elegant? Look, I'm 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 gonna go the uh, I'm gonna go the other way here, which which uh, might surprise a, a few people. Basil, Basil, just before you say that. You don't have to sound professional on this. Like, we're copping a thousand views of video. It hasn't blown up yet, so just speak. Are you crying? Um, <laughs> I'm going to go Animo. Right on, Animo. Animo at $4.80. At uh, $4.80. Wow, get in early. Get in early. Get in while you can. Wait, so that's, that's, say. that's just quality. I reckon that's going to drift out to $25 fucking dollars, mate. <laughs> What's that, Glassy? Sorry? I reckon that's going to drift out to fucking twenty five dollars, mate. No, I think if anything, he'll he'll come in. He'll what come you in. Got, what's what's the place looking at, Basil? Oh, it'd be like a dollar ninety or something, mate. That's that's where you want to put your money. I'll have, I'll have to get it up in sports, but hey. no, you're right, mate. I don't remember one seventy. One seventy to place. Yeah, I think you, I think you go on a, a, a trifecta with Zaki, Animo, and very elegant. That's huge, if true. Yeah. Right, I'll be, sure, I'll be sure to throw a bit of money at that. Yeah, you should have. You right, Buzz, we'll get you to hang up. The phone's out of reach from now. Yeah, piss off, mate. Right, no, thanks, boys. Piss no, off you. Mate. No, thank you, Basil. We needed that. Um, do we have anything else we want to go over? I feel we like... Can touch on the mood lifters and mood killers. Him. I was, I was giving them off to you. Oh, a mood lifter. Oh, yeah, was a mood lifter. <clears throat> um, probably... A mood lifter would be that, like, someone that you can just convince to do absolutely everything. So, probably, I've got Jack Haynes in that position. Yeah. Like, you could come home from a terrible day. He could come home, like, saying, like, I'm not going out for three weeks. And then you say, do you want to go out, though? And he's probably going to be like, yeah. yeah. Um, mood killer, someone that tries to cover up a certain part of their body using a, like, sticker. emoji or a sticker or something. It's like... Yeah. But just... It's I, shocking. It's like doing it, because, like... Mate, it's people walking around, yeah. and you always see with good-looking people, like, you see, you know, good-looking blokes, they put a... Like, yeah. they try and hide yeah. their face a bit, and it's then like, you see you're good-looking in the girls. You're in the mirror, mirror, like, mirror. if you're going to cover it, just maybe don't. Just maybe show it. Be yeah. loud and proud. Yeah. Loud and proud. That Still is. waiting for this no, but like, um, just don't... Just don't post it. Or just don't get yeah. on there because it makes it worse. It does make it worse. And like, I, I think lots of people think when they're doing that sort of stuff is like, it's not people It's don't, not pits. Like, it's not pits. But like, no, but like, what people think is they think that nobody knows What's what they're there? hiding. Yeah. It's like, it's, it's one of two things like fake tan or hairy, sweaty pits. It's one of the two things. It is. <laughs> and I, I know which way, I know which one I'm probably going to go for. One. Second one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Sheesh. Oh, oh. No. oh we could oh, also we're gonna hopefully we're gonna partner up with with a couple of our sponsors. Yeah, we don't know if it's official yet, but um We're actually yeah, we're promoters at the moment. And we're just gonna try and evolve and hopefully get somewhere. But right now, all I'm gonna say is this weekend we got probably one of the biggest the, the biggest UFC card yeah. we've seen this year, without a doubt. you got come shot fighting, and, you know, he's been all talk the whole year, and then we've got the Aussie champ. Yeah, yeah. Like, if you want to find a place to watch it, Stock Exchange Hotel. Yeah, Sundays at Stockies, it's fucking sick. Three DJs, photographer, if you're one of those people who like getting photos. Yeah, you got, you got a couple of good ones. These there, days, mate. I'm off photos of me when I'm out, yeah. big time. You had a good, you had a good, good stint then, Sunday, didn't you? I had a great stint, played yeah. really hard. I played I played yeah, what right. I knew. You had a, a large stint. You know, yeah, yeah, and I played what I knew best. A large and ugly stint. Yeah, but 
Yeah. What happens is, is you get down there, you know, you got three DJs all playing scat tunes, you got heaps of boys down there. Yeah. For it, like, cheap. Yes. Oh, we've got... I'm, I can't make it this weekend, but we got... Oh, no, actually, might be able to make it. So we got... Oh, God, ten. We got ten seats on a minivan. Minivan, yeah. Minivan, minibus. First, first in best dress. First really. in best dress, if you actually want it. Yeah, get a lift. We get a lift in. I, I think they'll do a lift back too. So that's. I don't think they're gonna do a lift back. No, I'll, I'll that. I'll, I'll, I'll can, I'll, I can drive. I can drive a lift. Yeah. I'll drive you boys back. Yeah, no, that's all good. I won't drink, so you guys can. Um, yeah. And I'll, you I'll know, if you bump into one of us too, we'll get you a free drink. So make sure you get down there and suck it up. Depends who you are. Yeah, if you're a bad boy, you don't. If you don't, don't like, if you don't like boost, we're gonna get you. On. Yeah, well, you know, that's pretty much. I'll that. tell it to you, true. Yeah, righto, boys. I've got, oh, I've got a little quick oh, uh, thing I've heard along the grapevine. What? It's just a it's just a bit of a thing. Like I thought it's true. I've heard it. I think a few of the boys have heard it. Just give me a heard this one. The further you go out of the beach, the more likely you are to get eaten by a shark. Heard it? Yeah. You have? Cheers. Right, guys, so we're going to finish up. <laughs> Um, sorry about the quality. We'll be back next week, same time with the real camera and the microphones will be working. And um maybe have a special yeah. guest. We're gonna we're gonna work on it. Um We'll work during the week and try and actually come up with something to say. You know, I'm gonna write down some material. Yeah. This one's just more of a just touching, welcome touching back. base. Touching base. So yeah. what are you doing with your life? Uni. Uni, uh nothing, apart from that. Yep. Playing playing Colts, uh probably prems by the end of the year. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, Kicking goals. That's it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. That's us. That's all we need. We need you guys to catch up on just pretty much a team meeting. We'll, we will be doing live audiences every week, so if you want to come, just RSVP, text me or Nick, yeah. um, and we'll see if you're allowed to come. Um, <laughs> and... Each week when we do do a live audience, there is a bar tab if that tempts you at all, but you also have to bring your own card in. Yeah. So, um, so it, is, it is free when you're yeah, here. But, when you're here, yeah. but just bring your own card in and like to, you know, entry yeah. fee. But then after that, you it's just get free, free yeah. drinks the whole night. So we're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys stay safe and don't do anything silly while I'm gone. Um... But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll start, we're going to start shit posting all that. So hopefully you guys start sharing some funny photos around the yeah. boys and shit. I wouldn't want in the DMs just like footage of just stupid sh- shit. Just fuck shit. Like send us some stuff that. that's just like actually next level, like going to get us banned from life. Because we're going to start like, yeah. you know, just throwing it out there. I want to see some that disgusting, disgusting, I wanna see some stuff. disgusting shit. I want to see some things that are just terrible. But not too terrible in saying that because like I want you guys to be filming it. Yeah, like, no, I don't. I don't. I don't, don't send me a funny video. That, no, you, know, that you didn't film. It's from like, like America. Because like, and then I'll just no. click on. I'll be like, mate. No. Send us someone from a local area. You know. Yeah. And if it's yeah. someone I can, I can. Uh, yeah. You can, you can grasp. But like, I can be like, I wish I was there. Yeah. If I see a video of something like you know, in bloody Vancouver, yeah, I'm just gonna look and be like, mate. It's not funny, is it? No. But I can I can imagine I'm the person filming when I say there's someone out the front of Ling Ling's. Yeah, I'd love to say that. If that's if there's someone out the front of Ling Ling's. I'd love to see a, a new fishbowl record. So yeah. It's actually been held by that? the boys around here. Uh, it, was th- it was four of us, fishbowl, 13 seconds. So. Sorry? No names. Oh, yeah, no names. Mm. Uh, me, Liam, Hainsey. Was it GA? Yeah, the thing was Gabe, yeah. No, but it was down the sink. Like, and then you're up there again, you're up there again. Uh, we got three, <coughs> we got probably t- 12 fish bowls that night. I've never shared and a fish bowl with anyone. Probably more. Like yeah, 12 yourself. <coughs> yeah, you got 12 yourself, you say, yeah. No, I don't doubt that. It's a good way to spend $45, that's all I'm going to say. But anyways, boys, we'll see you in the next one, next week. We want a few more boys down here. Uh, no, that's, that's stay hard problem. or don't stay at all? Stay stiff. <laughs> oh, I need a fan around a maximum. <laughs> <laughs>